got to check on the website to see if I made it correct. <laughs> it's on now. When you hear the little one beep, it's on. You can record oh. sign above it. Uh, well, you could solicit some more funding from the mayor's office to put in televisions that are larger so you could see it, but that's about all you can do. Yeah. Denise, Eric, Kathy, Mary Ann. Oh. <laughs> Did I just say it on film? This game has come to order. Um, <laughs> I make a motion to adopt the agenda for today's meeting. Did our trust Second. everyone received it? Okay. Second by yes. Kathy. Uh, so we have one, you. two, yes, three, four, five okay. voting members. Anyone against it? Okay. Four voting members. You're still there, right? I did put my own name down. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, I'll put B. Okay. Uh, okay, so the next item is just to approve the meeting minutes, but the last meeting wasn't really a meeting because there was no quorum, so it was very informal. Um, I'm trying to recall, did someone, were you here? Mm -hmm. Did you take, did you make any notes and you sent them around to people? I don't remember if I did it or not a long time ago. I don't think okay. I did no. Maybe would you send them around just, just for uh, uh, FYI for all of us? Or F -R -I? Sure. F -R -I. Isn't that if you don't have a quorum, you just have to approve the meeting, the minutes from the last official meeting? Oh, well, that's right, because you wouldn't have done that. So right. that so would be November 27th, mm -hmm. right? I. Mm -hmm. I move that we accept the minutes from November 27th, 2012 meeting. Any, uh, one more second, since I'm I'll second it. Okay, any, any, any objections? Okay. Is it at that meeting? No. No, okay. Okay, so, um, no public comments or public speakers? I can be public speak. Um, I'm Mike Burley, the chairman of the East EDIC, and uh, Sue Phillips asked me to stop and just sit in on the meeting, and I've been meaning to do this for a while anyway, <coughs> just to see what you guys, how were your progress, and we get a report from her every EDIC meeting, along with Ben helps out there too, and uh, so I thought I'd just show up and see, everybody see what I look like. And Excellent, we're glad to have you here. Well, we appreciate all the work you guys have done since we nominated this committee a couple of years ago, I guess now, right, Eric? Yeah. yeah. And uh, it's going really good, it's all I hear, so, so it's always nice to see you. So thanks. I have public speak too, just to announce what I wanted to make. Um, I recently added the EDIC and Local Works dedicated their own page on the Channel 5 website. So just wondering if everybody could take a quick look at some point over the next couple weeks and, and any information that we want to include so that all the, the meetings, all the meetings that get taped that we tape or the EDIC tapes will go to that page. And I also put a Local Works link to the Local Works website on that so that people can go directly to Local Works if they want from there. So this is the Channel 5 website? Yeah. And yeah. what is it? It's uh, www.ecatchannel5.org. And it's under the On Demand. Channel5.org? Mm -hmm. It's On Demand slash Government EDIC and Local Works. And it's just, just some information that, you know, which Tuesdays EDIC uh, meets and which Tuesdays the local works meets. Mm -hmm. And there's a, a, a local works is in green and that's a link if you click it to, that goes to the local works page. <coughs> and then all listed meetings. Mark, did you have a chance to Yeah, Mark, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, so I'm Mark, guys. I, I introduced myself partially before uh, in a sort of long form, uh, short form. Uh, I just moved to the area about about, about a year ago, uh, thinking about going back to school and getting a master's degree for uh, planning, uh, and um, just want to sort of get a sense of like what's involved and um, contribute, basically, uh, I do 
computer instructional classes, which I said earlier. Um, some of my background is in business, um, and so I'm just doing that kind of in psychology as well. So I'm just looking to kind of combine both of those things in a way that I can really be helpful and uh, contribute. Great. Welcome. Thanks. Jenna saw all those cool looking pens you got there. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. <It's> <laughs> cool pen. It's like a rocket ship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so first order of old business is the um, survey. We received input back from Jessica. Yep. I understand. I'm set to take a copy. Um, Hopefully this is the last time we have to go through it. <coughs> Not to go around. Um, so is this, did you enact the changes that Jessica I'm, suggested? I, I made the changes that Jessica said. I made the changes that we did in committee last meeting. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, I think at this point, um, the only thing is to look through it and make sure that we're all in agreement before we agree that this is the final draft of the survey. Um, just and discuss a little bit about question 20, um, whether or not it makes sense to keep that in there, um, based off comments from Jessica. Come on, was I missed those. What did she say about um, she it was distracting and didn't really sort of point to it and um, didn't seem to for the, the survey's goals. Um, you know, I thought originally the idea was just to call attention to a few things, um, but her point was that each of these events are very well advertised and um, you know, people they're well attended mm -hmm. already. Um, you know, we can take those comments or not. I've always thought that, excuse me, but I've always thought that that was, while it was a very worthy cause of having the question 20 there, it did seem out of place. Yeah. Because it's, whereas opposed 19 on down, we were actually just trying to solicit information and learn things. Whereas this, we're being proactive and trying to get a word out. And so maybe I, I kind of see Jessica's point that maybe it's, mis it's misplaced. It may not necessar necessarily belong here. I kind of like it in there, not so much as a question, but as a um, public information message, because we are a local works committee. Mm -hmm. But maybe we could take that in some form and put it on the website instead. Yeah, or, or I think yeah. maybe getting it down to three, um, that, that maybe there's there's a lot we're trying to, it loses the message after seven or eight. Oh, yeah, or yeah. seven or eight items in there? Yeah. Well, I don't even I think. I don't, I mean, the, the number of items in it isn't, isn't what, isn't, I don't think, it sounds like it isn't what Jessica was talking about. And I agree, Denise, that it might be good to put that somewhere else, on the website, um, or in multiple places. Yeah, and just so take it out of the survey. Just take it out of the survey. Put it on the website. Uh, just, I'm just gonna throw a caution up for that. Should we take out, rather than scrap it, should we just take out anything that's not related to money? Because I mean, Art Walk people buy things, farmers market people buy. I mean, that's commerce related, so just consider that. That's an interesting thing. Well, we could ask ourselves, what would we do with, is it useful for us to know how many people checked yes and how many people checked no on those questions? Yes. I think so, Then we yeah. should keep it in. But maybe just whittle yeah. it down to those that involve money. Well, they indirectly, they all involve money. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to. Well, no, that's not true. I don't. Yes, I mean. Rag shag. But people, right people, all those people come downtown. Some of them are going to stop in a store. Not that's, in the rag that's, shag. That's indirect, though. Right. Whereas, whereas the farmers market, uh, that's definitely a, a fun, uh, a revenue generating thing. All right. Uh, as is. Well, Art Walk, you could argue. Sometimes people go to Art Walk just to see the art and not necessarily have to be buying. But I guess it's a shop opportunity 
you know, you go to a farmer's market with the intention of probably pur purchasing produce, and the art walk, while it promotes arts involvement, it, in, is purpose is to generate an audience, but it's probably more primary purpose is to generate an audience with purchasing power to, to support artists. I mean, I just, just think about that. And I'm not married or grandstanding on any level, but whereas Community Cleanup Day is not about commerce in the least, neither is, you know, the holiday stroll, neither is the Rag Shack Parade, the summer concerts are not about generating revenue. I mean, the, the fireworks does generate its own revenue to try to help cover some of those costs, and there are certainly you know, opportunities to purchase things at the fireworks, but it's not necessarily local. Right, I mean, these are sort of like, these are community events. This, while it is a community event, is also a revenue community event. The rest of them are not. So, that's my case, I made it. <laughs> Any others? Um, yeah, I mean, just I'm being here and providing fresh eyes. Um, I don't know if it would be useful, but um, the first thing that I that I think about is uh, if we if basically we could have the question question stuff before we start asking people personal information about themselves. Uh, just because I think it would be better just to engage them immediately uh, rather than you know sort of maybe indir speaking indirectly you know get them. To, to answer all these questions. So, oh, so you're saying just answer all the questions and tell you what income bracket you're in and I, blah, blah, blah. The only problem is if you get people that say, okay, I've done enough of this and I'm going to stop here, you don't have that important information. No. Right. There's also been studies that have shown that if you ask them these kind of tough personal questions up front, they're more willing to continue later sure. yeah. rather than getting to like 10 questions and then being hit with all this personal Every and also, you know, just to, I, I don't want to throw a wrench in, but we've gone through this, we've been going through this for a long time. And I think some of us uh, are <laughs> done. Any other, I was going to say, if any other thoughts about question 20. Oh, no. I'd like to ask my kid opinion. Question, this question 20? Hmm, in or out? Well, I think the first, probably out, only for the fact that you say at the very beginning that you're trying to identify, mm -hmm. evaluate shopping purposes and identify retail and services need in the city. You know, 20, there's some things there that probably should come out of there. Yeah. yeah. Could we put them on the website with links to the art walk? And we definitely can. Yeah. Maybe that's so the place to put it. Under Rule 20, Unless you're just saying, ge just for general information, maybe they should go back up here where you're asking for information. Are they, are they aware of those of those reoccurring events in East Hampton, as well, opposed yeah. to the end of this? Well, here again, we are. We have said a, a few times we want to try and keep it as simple and as brief as possible. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the, the website is a good forum for that kind of with links. I like Mary with links, with definitely. With links yeah. Right. Does do someone want to make a motion? Or we use say something more? Yeah. I just, um, yeah. just question 20, the the additional comments is just misnumbered, so. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh that's 19, 20. 19, 19 is really 19. 21. Yeah, well, when we put this on the website, the when we put it into, this will not be the final format, because it's going to survey monthly, so that should all alleviate the, yeah. Hopefully, I won't have this question. But they're going out in print as well, right? No, I don't think we're doing that anymore. Okay. And we have to discuss that? Well, we, 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 I think we discovered it was just cost for him. No, I think that's a good move, but I, I just didn't. I missed the um, meetings. Um, okay, I make a motion that we take question 20 out, put it on the website, with links to the various events. I second. Okay. Um, all in favor, raise our hand. Okay, any opposed? Kathy, you're saying? Well, so we're just getting rid of it altogether. Yeah. We're moving it no, no, we're going to put it on the website. We're taking it out of the survey. We're taking it out of the survey. So we're taking the farmer's market and the art walk out of the yeah. survey. That question about them, yeah. And let me just, I just don't remember if we had the farmer's market in here somewhere else. 
Yeah, we have a question about how often I thought we, did. we shop at number eight refers to farm shares you say. So. Well, but it doesn't have farmer's market. Yeah, I think something should go in about the farmer's market. And that's probably because number eight doesn't, well. <coughs> yeah, why don't we just tack farmer's market into number eight? Okay. And then I'm good with it. Because okay. we do have a huge art walks or UCA yeah. plus section. <coughs> All right. So Here we go for We want to do it. East Hampton, because there's the North Hampton, the other ones, we just leave it Farmer's Market. Well, there's also so eight, we can say East Hampton Farmer's Market, and then 10 outside of East Hampton, maybe we could do, well, there's just food, groceries, dining. Yeah, it's more, um, more general. Yeah. So, well, but we're trying to gauge the, for East Hampton Farmer's Market, correct? We're trying. We, we're, right now, we are judging for East Hampton. So. But I think if we just leave it as mentioned, farmer's market in that. Because the question is, we have a lot of questions where we're not saying specific. No, we are. Big E stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still think, though, you could say farmer's markets. We could say farmer's markets. Because that's where farmer's markets in Northampton and in Florence a lot before East Hampton ever. Right, but, isn't, but I guess I thought the, the, the target is to sort of gauge how what people are doing in town. That's right. So that's right. If they're not, if they're going in Northampton or the Amherst Farmers right. Market, it doesn't really. Yeah. So I mean, there's going outside of East Hampton, which is more the point. Yeah. So we would want to track what's staying in town. Good point. So so should make it. So last two farmers market. So two to question eight. One says farmers market East Hampton. One says farmers market outside of East Hampton. Do we need outside of East I don't Hampton? think we need an outside of East Hampton. I don't think we do. Let's just add it to Farmer's Market East Well, then why are we asking for these other Well, the other ones, we do, like, do we want to know if well, they're Big Y in oh. North Hampton or Big Y in South Hampton? Boy. Because we, it's, it's because somewhat it's important to see where people are going, where are, where the community is shopping, yeah. where the dollars are going. Well, the thing, all my hunch is, if someone goes to the East Hampton Farmer's Market, they're probably Farmer's Market people. And so they're probably going to Northampton and Florence as well. I mean, if we're going to do East Hampton Farmers Market, I always, then again, do we need two different stopping shops? But we're opening up this can now, a big can with lots of worms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I almost feel like it doesn't really matter. A stop and shop is a stop and shop. I mean, I think the pur the purpose is to see who's staying in town. We're trying what we're trying to accomplish with this survey is to track local dollars, yeah. well, see if there's any place where we can improve or where business can improve. So we're we're basically trying to identify where the markets are, you know, and come up with the strategy from the results of the survey. So if you know, three percent of people are going to the Northampton Farmers Market. Chances are, if you're going to the East Hampton Farmers Market on a Friday afternoon, you're not then going to go buy more produce on Saturday morning. Right. But well, maybe so, people are going to Northampton because Saturday morning is more convenient for the people who want to shop for farmers. Well, I think that might, it might be better to have the two questions: one for East Hampton and one for Farmers Market outside of East Hampton. Okay. And we don't have to be specific. We're outside of Other East Hampton. Okay. Market. Yeah. Okay. Because you're asking that same kind of a question at 15 when you're asking. Crafts outside of these towns, right? Right. Galleries outside. Okay, that's of these good. Places. I just want to list like farmers market in Northampton, farmers market Holyoke, because right? that's just tedious. So, and it's sort of irrelevant. Do you, do you anyway. think that um, the East Hampton farmers market deserves its own question? Uh, I do because it, the distinction would be what's in town versus what's not in town, and, and that seems like it. it that's really the purpose. Get yeah. Some good information for the farmers market. What would you say if you're not going? Why and what right. would you like to see more oh, of? Oh, the whole question, not not its own line on question. No, the whole question. Yeah. Anybody else think yes or no? Yeah, because some if if they tell you no, they're not going. You're going to let them find out why they're not going to East Hampton as opposed to somewhere else. 
are, are they doing something wrong? Are they not making enough uh, offerings? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. No, I mean, I think it's also going to be somewhat self-explanatory because the major farmers markets are on Saturday mornings and that's when people are out. So, I mean, one of the reasons it's on a Friday or in other communities on a Wednesday is because they're not going to compete with Northampton and Amherst because they're just not. Yeah. I know when I first came here, my wife and I have gone to Northampton many numerous times and all of a sudden one shows up in East Hampton on Friday. We thought, wow, that's good. Let's go down Have you heard of the Tuesday yeah. one in Northampton? Huh? The Tuesday one in Northampton or just the Saturday? Just the Saturday. This is a great one. Actually, we prefer the one on Tuesday to oh, the Saturday. Where is it? It's behind Florence every Tuesday afternoon. I didn't know. Or actually now, because it's the winter, I think it's, it's inside. 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 Inside Florence. And that's year round. And the one, there's one in Florence as well. Yeah, I don't think they're year round. But that's yeah, Thursdays, Thursdays or something, I think. Yeah. yeah. Right, a lot of times they're Eve, like three no. to six. They're trying to find their Turner's own stuff. Turner's Falls is Wednesdays, three to six. And a lot and of farmers yeah. go to different, you right. know, they're, they're yeah. at the different right. farm stand right. markets, so they're... Well, okay, so here we are now. We this is where I see it. We've decided to take question twenty out and put the, all those things on the website. Before. The next step is to either add one line to question eight. Do you go to farmers market? Two lines to question eight. One being, do you go to East Hampton farmers market? Do you go to other farmer markets in the area? Farmers markets in the area. Or the third choice is to add neither to question eight, but do a whole new question solely devoted to farmers markets. Um, my initial hunch, you know, of course, part of this is because I want to be done, um, <laughs> is to not do that last one. But it's also not not just that, but because we're we. We don't seem to be going into as much detail with other uh, with other sources of e uh, business in East Hampton. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, yes, the farmers is very important, but then so are the artists, so are the people who have the retail stores, and so are the restaurateurs. Um, my vote is the second option to do a t two lines of question eight. I would agree with you, and I would add that. As we're getting a year subscription to the Survey Monkey tool, we will have opportunities to follow up this survey with Good additional idea. surveys. <coughs> um, we can also, reach, we, can also reach, mm -hmm. we can also reach out to the Ag Commission, you know, and say we have this tool available. Are you interested in running a survey for your thing? Mm -hmm. But to focus on yep. what we have here now. So we're adding, to question A, we're adding East Hampton Farm, Farmers, Farmers Market, Park. and Farmers Market, other towns. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. To be consistent, it's going to be not just uh, consistent Farmers Market dash East Hampton, Farmers Market dash other. other. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's, it's I mean, and, and, and the formatting may change when we put it into Survey Market. Oh, okay. Just to, yeah. you know, like, here, these are going to be, probably dots that you select with the mouse rather than things you circle and check. Right. So we'll, we'll Somewhat important. Important. <laughs> Somewhat unimportant. Okay. I don't know, should we add something to the top um, that says like the results of this survey are confidential, we won't give out your information? Or anything like that? Yes. Is it a confidential survey? Do we want to make I that? So. Do it's probably want? not, but I think it's a good idea to say that because people don't like. Mm -hmm. But if we say that it's confidential, it's confidential. We, how do we? How do we? I think the problem. I think what you, your train of thought is: if we say it's confidential, can we? Can we publish the results? I mean, in aggregate, there's no a lot of things. But there's yeah, no so There's yeah. no personal on here. Well, there was the, the, we had talked about also doing incentive, you know, so saying like <coughs> maybe the last question is if you'd like to be a chance to win a gift certificate at whatever place, please put your name and contact information. Yeah, I'm not sure that we want to do that after all because then it would get into the whole privacy things. Well, but if we say we, we won't, we won't publish your specific information, we'll only 
you know, use aggregate data. Okay. I don't know if that resonates with people or their privacy concerns or. Do they have to sign this thing or something? No. Nope. I don't think. Do we need then to make why, it confidential or just? Why well, worry about making it confidential then if you're not going to have their name? Well, that's my point. And just say no, no information will be shared with. The general. Well, you can't say that if you're going to if you're going to compile this information. Like personal information. Well, this personal is all information. this is all public information. But will, there be, will there be any personal information? I mean, people are giving their income range, their age. Mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah, but that's not personal. There's no name well, or address right. attached to it. I could say a 54 year old man walked down the street. You have no idea who he was other than his age and his gender. Right. So I, I here's what I think. If we do want to put on there, you can add your name to be put into a drawing. Number one, we should make sure what that drawing is before we even entertain the idea. Mm -hmm. And number two, then we could put on that as a caveat to that, not the whole survey, but as a caveat to that, your name will not be shared with anyone else. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, because okay. a lot of people are going to mail this back. They're not going to go, they're not going to drive down here and give it to the planning department. It is the last thing well, we have. Primarily, it's going to be online. So we're not even sure oh, it's going to be printed okay. out anywhere. So we would have to take that out too. We right. can mail it out. Mm -hmm. um, unless we did have copies available, if someone wanted to come down, if they were in the municipal building. So this them. is just for online? That's the, yeah. Then you don't need to. That's what I'm saying. Right. We, we don't need that. Please, please mail. You can right. take that off of there then. Yeah. Right. And you don't have to worry right. about not sharing their information. Right. No, but also, I, I think it's not necessarily a bad idea because I don't want my email you know, add it to somebody else's mailing list. I don't want that. You know, and if it's going to happen, I just won't. Well, okay, so if we do have, you don't have to enter an email to do a survey monkey, do you? Do you? No, I don't no. think so. I don't think so, no. So the yeah. email won't be involved. Okay. But if we want to, you know, like, let's say we want to contact the people for a follow-up survey, you know, do we want to be able to have that list of everyone who completed the survey so we can blast email them and say, I don't think we can unless we change the whole format of what we're doing and make it an email-based thing and not a service. Well, no, uh, again, again, email address. well exactly. that's where the incentive comes in at the end. Oh, okay. You say, oh, if you like, you mean? Right, yeah. so the okay. last question becomes, if you'd like the opportunity to be entered in a drawing to win a, you know, a $100 gift certificate at some restaurant or whatever, please enter your email below and one winner will be chosen at random. Okay, so if we do that, then at that point we can say your name will not be shared. Right. So let's keep it simple. So we don't need to have it be at the top of the survey. Okay. It's only if people choose to add their in their personal information, we'll say down. Yeah, they there. have to make the effort to add it in. Right. Yeah. If you want to do this, fine, but understand we're not going to share it with anyone. Yeah. Also might not be a bad idea to just give you the opportunity to add their email to our mailing list if that's what they would like to do. Sure. I mean, it's less research later down the road. Absolutely. And also just put the <coughs> disclaimer, it won't be yeah. shared. Well, we can just it's not tied to the survey and it will not be shared. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that would... Do you want to work on the, uh, the, the wording of that? Sure. Or we just do it right here now? I mean, I think we can do I, I say let's not do the incentive right now just we don't have one. Well, we can, we have a budget. We, okay. We can set aside, we want to vote on how much we want to set aside, and we can figure out where we want to get it. We don't necessarily have to have to wait for volunteers. And that conversation you have with Jessica about the budget should be brought up in this? Yeah, I mean. At some point, or is it on your agenda? Um, well, it's discussing the survey, so. Well, you have money to spend, and you better be right. spending it if they're going to take it. Right. That's what the context was. Right. Okay. By what's the is the fiscal year? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. well, we're looking at the budgets now, so we're putting in the new budgets. The okay. Budgets don't roll over. All the un, all the unspent money gets put back into the general fund at the end of the year, and so we have a new budget. But the new budget's based uh, off our funding from basically budget. half okay. the fiscal year, where we spent just the web registration fees. Because I'm sure she'd like to use that money somewhere else. Oh, sure. Yeah. You know, yeah. There are ways that they need it badly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, so we're spending what two seventy five for the survey monkey subscription, something around there, right? But we haven't done it yet. I know, but we will be. Right. Um, it's a hundred dollar gift certificate. That's a really good incentive. Is that yeah. really good? Is that too much for us? No, I think it's no. I think that if you're going to get people to okay, 
let you keep their name and stuff. Well, if we do a hundred dollar gift certificate to um, what's something that everyone would use, like Apollo or something like that. I'd say Mary Ann's answer more than some of the time. How about a hundred dollar gift certificate to any East Hampton business? I mean, they make it truly local. So, right. it, you know, and they so get to pick once they win. They can pick. Maybe they had three kids that are taking dance. I like imagine that. they went like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, or maybe, you know, I mean, if I'm an alcoholic, how much money do you have? Do I the polo, you know? uh, how much money do we have in our budget? Right now we have about $2,500 remaining. And you have to do some of that by when? July. July. We had we had set aside, we'd set aside a thousand for advertising and fourteen hundred for printing. Um, and now we're not printing. So. And we're not printing the survey now. You know, but we will need to reserve. Twenty-four hundred. But and then there's a little bit left for. Well, we're gonna we're still gonna do printing, so just not of a survey. We're gonna do printings right. of logo stickers and yeah. shop local. <coughs> I mean, they, these were really figured out. We didn't know that we were doing a survey when we did the budget. So we're shifting around some of our... I was just thinking, if you want to make it really attractive, do two prizes. And their odds would go up quite a bit. They would say, ah, oh, not just one, there's two mm -hmm. chances. Mm -hmm. Or they should say two, seventy-five. If you had enough money. How about 102 50 50 50 which makes three prizes. I like that idea. But then you have to. Then we have to choose who gets the fifth place. Right. You know. It's well, isn't it just random drawing? First yes. person selected gets the hundred. Right. Second person gets a fifty. Third person oh. gets a fifty. I mean. Is it legal? I mean, can we do? Uh, can we do that as a city thing? Just or, that out. or say three fifty-dollar gift certificates. Random drawing. Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars is much more appealing. Mm -hmm. I think a hundred fifty is. fifty, is. Yep. and you know, that's pretty good. I would make them. I would make them equal. I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. so too. Then you have to make a decision. Yeah, or two seventy five. No, I like no, hundred. Getting yeah. into that third digit. Bling. You need bling. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so let's say two hundred dollars for certificates. Please okay. enter. Address. What are you saying? Two one hundred? Yeah. That's good. I just think of it in terms of like spreading the wealth around. So you know, if you have, if you have <laughs> four winners, that's <coughs> more exciting than having two winners. True, but I think that it's you're less likely going to be to be able to glean the information for a fifty dollar gift certificate. Mm -hmm. I would be much more inclined if, we're, if I thought there was a well, chance. Well, yeah, but you shoot for the hundred. But if someone hands you twenty-five bucks, are you going to say no? If someone hands you fifty bucks, are you going to say no? Yeah. To an East Hampton business of your choice. Is it yes. To be entered into a drawing. So, can we vote on this? Yep, yeah, but it has to be worded just. So say something. For please enter one your of the following prizes. Yeah. You know what I mean. Well, so say, we, have two, we have two $100 gift certificates to any East Hampton business that we're giving away as incentive for people who give us their name. To put yourself into the drawing, add your name, something like that. Or to join our mailing to list. To join our, to join our mailing list. Join our mailing list. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you have to put for you can't say that we have two. You have to say something to say. So, so it's a drawing to win one of two one hundred dollar gift yeah. certificates. There you go. Okay. And then it's please enter your email address to join our mailing list. Contact info. We want more than email address. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Please phone enter number. your contact. So we want phone and email and name? Yep. Do we want address? I don't think we want phone. I think uh, we do want you name, phone? address, and email. Yeah. Address over phone? Or do we want if we're yeah. getting it, we might as well ask for all of it? Yeah. They sure. can ask Absolutely. for it and they can... Yeah. Hey, just think just say, give us your contact info to enter a drawing. Yeah, I just Shouldn't like, your name, license. address, telephone, email. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, at some, point, what's some, at some point, are you not going to do it because now that's not... Uh, well... We're just not going to call. I mean, are we going to make call? it optional? 
Well, not if they're going to be able to the draw. No, I mean, for the certain information, you got to have your name and email, but optional for the other information? I think you need the address, too. Name, address, email, phone is optional. Personally, I mean, I think at the minimum, all we really need is email. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's all I would ask for is a name and address. But don't you want to make sure that, like, if you're, I don't know, you their address. I mean, no one's going to, if we only have their email, and they give us a bad email, and they win, well, well, we're not going to get it, because right. they have a bad email. So yeah. the incentive is yeah. not to lie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we, and like, honestly, we're not going to call people, and we haven't been doing mailings. Yeah, I think just so a in their email address. Keep it that. I disagree. Okay. <laughs> it's not a thorough way to collect information. No, 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 it's not. This, this, this part is, this is an... It's an incentive. Yeah. I'm sorry, can I interrupt? Um, Please do. I'm trying not to hear it. Um, it's an incentive, yes, but it's also a data collection tool. So if local works two years from now hosts an event, those people may have changed their emails, but they probably didn't change their house. Yeah. Or so you vice can, versa. You know, or or whatever. You know, so I, I think I think that collecting a bunch of phone numbers might be useless because we're one not going to call people, and two, I'm always suspicious when someone wants my phone number because then all of a sudden mysterious weird texts start showing up. You know that I want to cruise, and then it's just someone where I would say delete. please include your name and address. Yeah, I mean, name address. Okay, if on. you need to find someone's phone number, you can. Okay. True. And okay, email so makes life easier. Yeah. So. Yeah. So name, address, and phone email. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how's this? Okay. Please enter your name, address, and email to join our mailing list and be entered into a drawing to win one of two one hundred dollar gift certificates one of two one hundred dollar gift certificates at a local business of your choice. Yeah, local East Hampton East Hampton business. Yes. Yeah. East Hampton business of your yeah. choice. Yeah. Then we'll have to come up with a deadline. Yeah. You want to get yes. a lot of yeah. addresses in there. Um so we will s we will say like six weeks after the published date? I would say no more than six weeks. Yeah, that would be enough. Okay. I think I think uh, we want to. We don't want this to drag on too long. because people will see, oh, I have six weeks, and they'll they won't be yeah. able to forget about it. Okay. Okay. Um, can we? Do we even have to announce that? I mean, can you just? We need to have it in the first year. Yeah. So you. We need I know that we do, but when we send out the survey. Just ask people to. I mean, does it have to be? You know, you have six weeks to fill out the survey. Do we have to communicate no, that? No, only for the incentive. If you're going to include the incentive, we need it back within six weeks. But you need the information. We need to give them a drop dead mm -hmm. date, so to speak. Yeah. 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 Nobody does it without a deadline. <laughs> yeah. Well, I do it. <laughs> so I do it now, so I don't have to think about it again. But. Okay. But you know what I'm saying? It's just like. There, you can just take off the incentive, or the survey's not going to be available after the deadline. So. Do we need to state that? I guess it just seems like. If someone happens to print it off themselves and wants to bring it in, yeah, we need to cover our mm -hmm. tails. Okay. So, so that will, we won't set a specific date now. We don't know if this is going to go live. Mm -hmm. but so, did do people want to say four weeks or six weeks? I think six. But six window, yeah. Mm -hmm. We need to get out our advertising too to do the survey. So the more time that we have to get people to take the survey, the more meetings we'll get for that. That's true. Too. So That's true. I'd go with the six. So one know. of the things that had come up was, and I haven't talked to any of the other departments, but if there's mailings that are going out to other departments, we may be able to put a little piece of paper, like take our survey with your tax bill or something like that. Excellent. Um, but I haven't talked to the other departments and I didn't want to... We just missed the census. You did? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the uh, first quarter tax. Oh, yep. first quarter tax. <laughs> yeah. So we may go with the fourth quarter. That would have been the one so they could get something back for all that money they're paying. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking anyway. <laughs> so is it, when's the fourth quarter tax bill going? I'm trying to think it's due the first week, the first day of February, February. basically. Mm -hmm. So February second or something like that. Yeah. So the so salary out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was no, last week. Is this property tax? Yeah. yeah. I just, just got my in the mail. I sent it back. Right? Yeah. So it just comes to me. That's okay. And the next quarter will be March, right? April, May, June. Due in June. June, June first. How often will water bills go up? It's quarter of four. Water bills. Those are quarterly. Those quarterly, yeah. 
the same quarters? Uh, well, it's kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know. I never, never, it always comes when you don't need it. <laughs> Fairly recently. Yeah, December? In December. December. Okay. December. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that might be March. So maybe not. But the water bills are. Yeah, well, they're just a postcard. Postcards. They're not yeah. Yeah, an envelope. So right there's right. no envelope. Okay. So you're better off with the tax, yeah. the regular tax bills. Well, do we want to wait till June? No. We'll find other quarterly, ways. Uh, so they go out in January, yeah, March. Yeah, we, we've, we've talked about in this, in this group, okay. we've talked about a lot of deals yeah. Yeah. Of, of getting this out. So I'll, so I'll start putting this into Survey Monkey when I get it in there i'll send out links to everyone in this committee and in the edic where we can all just test it before we make it before we send it out again but just to make sure that we're one final like mm -hmm. check of it and then we'll hopefully decide it works and then go live Good. okay great um I see the second item is discuss online version of the survey by Survey Monkey. I think that's an error. I think those should have been the same thing. I think we did that. Yes. <laughs> Let's see, see above. Okay. Um, discuss Local Works website. Anyone who wants an account, uh, this is a back end account so that you can go in and add things to it. Uh, please email Matt with what you would prefer to use, <coughs> username you would like and what email address he should use. Okay. Um, have, maybe next Tuesday, we can mention to the EDIC people to have them go check out our website and see what they think of it. And also, uh, we have a Facebook presence too. All right. Yeah. Eric, could we potentially put a, um, a notice about the survey in the chamber bulletin? Yeah, and I think we're going to try to get something into the summit. It wouldn't be the survey, but maybe just a little advertising yeah uh, 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 maybe even just look at one we can get someone to write a we'll do a press release about it and mm -hmm. we we'll get yeah. Rebecca to write something about it free advertising and we could get we probably get a few mentions up on the WFCR as well you could also do um, like a 30-second video spot and have a write up about that because I can author that. <laughs> that would be on Channel 5. Yeah, you know, it would be in the summit under like Channel 5 highlights to, to take the local, sur you know, local work survey. Blah, 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 blah. So. Um, can we talk about the, the uh, Cultural District Subcommittee now? Mm -hmm. Before you do that, are you going to put any of these surveys in, in businesses in town or no? And I go on hard copies. That means we printing, could, but still. We could, I mean, we could have like 10 or 20 if they want. It's up to, I mean, it's up to the community. I, I think it's important to have that available for people that are not I online. think so, too. So but I don't know how that last part in there. It would also be uh, actually probably very useful to drop them off at the elderly housing. If we're going to do print, then to drop the printed ones off at the elderly housing projects and at the Council on Aging. Where that you know, because that's probably your higher targeted, not online audience. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I was thinking Big E. I mean, a lot of people in this town don't go to Big E. Yeah, sure. sure. It's the only place we ever hardly ever shop. So for groceries. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Well, then we need we need collection. If we're gonna have paper copies, we need collection points, and we need people to people pick them up. I think people can mail them. But unless they want to fill them out right then and there where they are, and then leave them with the printer. I think it's a little too long to fill out. Yeah. On the yeah. Spot. But I mean, I, I think we still need to have collection points that are, isn't just here. You know, if people are picking it up, it, maybe it's the old town hall. But there's a drop box up there outside when you're not open, is there not? Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's you could still leave that address here. But planning our drop box. I think that's enough. 
Yeah, I do too. I think so because the bulk of the people are going to be doing this electronically. Yeah. And for right. the for the twenty percent or fifteen percent that are going to do a hard copy. But the elderly thing was a good. That's a good idea. I think yeah. those two in particular. So if we want, right. for, we'll, if we we'll actually them, we're spending a lot of money locally yep. and not online. If yeah. we take them to to some of the elderly centers, they can leave them at the desk there. Sure. Right. Then we turn back and desk and we'll go back and I'll go back again. Yeah. And if they want to enter, they can just simply put their contact information. That's right. And they, I mean, depending on how sophisticated, we, I mean, we could take the survey monkeys for them too and fill I mean, the appropriate we, boxes. I think we have to. Yeah. All of the forms that we get that are hard copy, the only way we're going to get them into our database is if someone's sitting there to them. manually entering it. Which how can you do that? Isn't that governed by email? Well, we no. would have a master, I mean, we would be the ones entering it, so. Yeah, no, it's, first of all, it's not governed by email, but also, it will so how does it stop? I'm just a, We'll have a back-end spreadsheet. And, okay. And, um, you know, I could go ahead and just enter them into the spreadsheet. But multiple users from the same web? From the same email account, could fill It's not email based at all. You can go on to uh, into the public library and go onto the web without having anything to do with your email address and enter enter on Survey Monkey. So, okay. what stops someone from taking the survey twenty times? Nothing. Okay. And when we talked about that a while ago. Nothing. We just won't tell them. Right. If someone <laughs> enters their <laughs> <they're laughs> <they're laughs> <they're> contact <laughs> information more than once, we'll catch that. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, I just if we're going to do hard copies, we have to be willing to sit there and enter the data. Right. And we have to be, Which I am willing to do. We have, to be, willing to, we have to be willing to distribute it. Now, are you going to know when somebody, that's a good point, will enter 20 times for that? One of two hundred dollar gift certificates. We could. Well, we could. Say, I was saying, if there was a repeat on their contact information, we'll catch that. We so could, you only enter we'll, we'll once. They'll only be entered yeah, once, right? Okay. We, we could log up IP addresses. And is that an option on SurveyMonkey? I don't know. I, I imagine I that there is, if you have a paid account, that there's some way to do that, and then you know we'll know like the people entering in like your IP address mm -hmm. we're going to see 60 times because you're going to be entering in. Well, no, because I'll be doing it on, on the spreadsheet afterwards, after it's not even in SurveyMonkey anymore. We'll download it out of the spreadsheet, out of SurveyMonkey. Okay. I can, I can look into that. Because we only want the results. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we get the we get the synopsis from SurveyMonkey as to what came through SurveyMonkey. Right. But for people who fill out the hard copy thing, yeah, that doesn't need to have anything to do with. Survey Wouldn't you want to implement that through SurveyMonkey okay. so we get the yeah. the information included? No, because I'll I'll put it into the the information that we get. I'll add it in after. So you're going to add it into the final. Right. Yeah. Or, or we could enter it into the survey. I'm saying we don't have to do it that way. Yeah. Yeah. But you're going to get, see, you're going to get repeat IP addresses for people who who use the same computer. Right. I mean, there's going to be, be overlap with IP yeah. addresses, but uh, there won't be abuse of the same person taking it 100 times. I don't think we need to worry about that. <coughs> I don't either. I don't think it will but want to do it 100 times. <laughs> the only reason they possibly would is, is to get the incentive, get the gift certificates, and we've already got a safeguard against that. Mm -hmm. So. We don't have to yeah, put this claim or limit one person. I was going to say, we're not that sophisticated yeah. yet. We're just a little old East Hampton here. <laughs> well, okay. um, it's now seven minutes, eight minutes until. Uh, do we want to talk about the cultural district subcommittee? Well, the application was submitted on Friday. Yeah, I'm sorry, Kathy. <laughs> I try to get so we can talk to Channel, talk to channel 5, too. It's like the last thing every time. <laughs> well, go before, because the cultural yeah. district and the application was just put in, so there's not really anything to yeah. say. Okay, great. Submit it. That's all. We'll just accept Channel 5. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do we want to do? Um, I mean, I, I made that presentation a while ago. Um, that's what we can do. I don't know if there's a strategy or if Local Works wants to generate a directory or how we want to, if you want to talk to the chamber about merging mailing list type of things and including more people. I mean, I think it would be maybe interesting to think about creating a business directory. You know, that we can link on our website and then seeing which business owners want to come forward and 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 make PSAs 
you know I mean I think that in terms of like what what our mission is I wouldn't volunteer to go produce things for people randomly unless they were nonprofit so in terms of private business you know it's to just design what the parameters are and if you you know like if Marianne said geez you know what yeah you know then we could talk about ways that she could do that but that's because she came to me and said I want to do this mm -hmm. you know I mean I think it would be nice to put something on um, the website and we just have to think about the wording you know to say that that's available to you as a resource via local works and or chamber or whatever um, and then those things can also be smattered around our the local works website as well the final ones are the PSA you were talking about. It's a public service announcement. Well, I realize something. that, but how, how, what's your definition of what that would be? Uh, we use the PBS guidelines currently, uh, which are available online at PBS, and it's you can't um, you cannot advertise pricing, and you cannot do anything that is a call to action. So you cannot say, "Come down to Marianne's and buy my stuff," but you can say, you know. Your dance shoes may not fit when your child is crying, when she's trying to tighten them. You know, we can talk to you about this, and you know, or this is how to properly fit a dance shoe. And this message is brought to you by Mary Ann's Dance, locally. Non-commercial self-promotion. Yeah, non-commercial self-promotion. So it's about creating a presence on media. You know, and also I think it's it's an interesting incentive to provide. Um, the public with a service based announcement instead of you know like you could do insurance fun facts like did you know if you didn't apply for blah 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 by such and such a date you're out of luck yeah. get that in brought to you by the law agency you know you know did you know the flood insurance only covers whatever yeah. right right so that's a service base it's not saying yeah. come down and we'll take care of you yeah. that's a call to action that's no bueno but so as a group what do we do to get this started? Um, we decide what we're going to get started first. Right. Yeah, we decide what we can get started, or you know, maybe we can ask somebody to volunteer to make one with Channel Five, and we can use it as a prototype for our web website. Well, this would be like to be our first. I guess. <laughs> fifteen second. It could be fifteen seconds. to thirty seconds. I mean, the, the nice thing about public access is that there are no constraints. You know, right. you don't have timing constraints. Would, would we want to just put a limit on it to be fair to everyone? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, like I she mean, said, try no. one and see what it's done. And comes I, out. I don't think that that and is everybody fair can look at it and I see what you think. I think if you're think. willing to come and you have a specific vision and your vision is going to take 90 seconds, but her vision is going to take 30 seconds, and so be it. Yeah. And I don't you think know. we need to overthink it yet. Yeah. Let's just get the ball rolling. All right. I'm just, just, just throwing out the yeah. question. I'm sorry, but I didn't mean to be so <laughs> 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 I, mean, I'm just, I was just like, I'm just, I'm just asking. Well, I, maybe I think we should have Miriam's dance and more beer first. Okay. Yeah. We could also have a chamber. Be number chamber two. Good. Just sure about the chamber, like too. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Or, the chamber's got a little bit more or, or, or two person here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we could, we could try each one one a month to build one for each kind of organization that we represent, too. I mean, employed, right? Yeah. Yeah, do it for your, for, your new, for your new business, your new IT business. What, what is this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have, there's a, local, there's a local cable channel that is just for, uh, it's a public community it's access. Three TV. local. There's three, okay. Three local community access TV channels. And Kathy is uh, in charge of, of doing that. And we're, what we're trying to do is set up public service announcements for East Hampton businesses to promote them. It's great. And we have. I'm always there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But we could also do it for years, too. Mm -hmm. um, the Matt Watt, who you probably have very small right now, but well, that's fine. It doesn't need to be big. You want to grow? We also so need to represent local works in a very professional, thought-out way, though. Yes. Um, so we do need to define it just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And speaking of the bureaucracy, say that word. Bureaucracy. Thank you. <laughs> the chamber. We need to. Right. know if that's going to be any kind of problem or well because we already do it for our newsletter we do a monthly a video spotlight right you guys do minutes. spotlights right and it's uh 90 to 120 second video spotlight that's a, a 
one member benefit. I don't know how IE only members can get involved in that. So I would have to check on that with them, but the same. And how are those, um, how do those get out? Are they just on your the website? They're on, they're on, they go out in our newsletter. Our e okay, so they're not on ECAT or? No, not at the moment. That's all the discussions we've had too, so. Okay. It's possible that in the future they might go out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We just need to figure that out because there was some stepping on toes there that right. the chamber has brought up before, so we need to mm -hmm. figure that That's out. That's true. Sure. The chamber members will be paying for that. Well, also, let me just make the distinction. The, no, these, what we're proposing well, they're paying is no, service-based self-promotion that the business owner would initiate, mm -hmm. which is different than what the chamber does. The chamber chooses a business who who is a member. Is that correct? No, they and actually volunteer. The chamber. Oh, so yeah. they volunteer. So, mm -hmm. but but there's only going to be from the chamber one per month. It's somewhat at some somewhat more in depth than what we're talking about, and. There, I mean, I think that the, given the nature of local works, there is going to be crossover, but we can brand what we're doing as a public service announcement differently than how the chamber mm -hmm. brands theirs, and that will, in and of itself, set a distinction. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I don't think that. I mean, you know, this might be something we need to revisit when we have thirty in the bag, but we don't or in the can, right? That's the filmic term. No, but the branding but differently is. Right, like so at the know. tail end, it's local works. You know, maybe maybe there's a big look. Their local works stamp is right in the a, a large one in the corner, mm -hmm. and then that's the end. Mm -hmm. You know, whereas the chamber spotlights, I don't know if you've seen them, but um, the chamber spotlights, the business owners talk about it. And in some ways, the chamber spotlights also fit into our parameters, which is why I was talking to Pat about that. Um, but it's also more of a promotion of the organization, the chamber. Right. Is that what you? Yeah. Well, one of the questions are, you know, why? Right. 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 It, right. And that's fine. So I don't think. But I don't think that we're not promoting with videos necessarily or specifically local works. We're promoting local shopping mm -hmm. that happens to come out of this committee. We're not promoting like our um, association with local works over the chamber. You know, there's going to yeah. be a lot of crossover. So I think that that's all so in how you brand it and, yeah. and send it out. Okay. I, don't, I don't know if that was clear or not. But. Yeah. Well, so do you want to, um, do the two of you want to get together to start setting some up? Okay. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Discuss, <laughs> discuss amongst yourselves. <laughs> but yeah, that would be fun because we could, you know, I have some time. Um, Next week, week after. Okay. Okay. So, is this something that the ECAT would primarily take care of, or is um, this something that like the, the why, committee uh, has to like why? approve each spot, or like what's the structure? How do you see that working? Well, I guess that would depend on what we're empowered to do. If someone is a local business person, I would think that that would put them in a local works category. I don't think that the committee needs to. Uh, you know, really approve every single candidate. I think as a as a member of local work, we could have you be our eyes and ears. Yeah, and I'd be Just happy to, to do that. Make sure local. Service. Service. And, public service. I don't think you're going to have a problem. Right, and it is a I public just, service. Yeah. So, so, but, but because I think what you're getting at maybe is just in the interest of fairness. Is that correct? Or if there's someone just, you don't th no, feel no, like. No, no, no. I just, I just want to. I think that we, when we're doing this, I want to make sure that we've. Mm -hmm. Thought it through enough that we're not just, you know, starting something that's going to get out of control. Well, I mean, I, I know like we're not going to get out of control with it, but I, I just want to like, what are we doing to, you know, is is this something that's a local works initiative? Is it something that 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 ECAT is doing in partnership with local works? Is it something that ECAT's doing for local businesses, sort of? I think it's a happy collaboration. Oh, so yeah, I, would, yeah, I, would, I would I would say yeah, yes. the second and third. Right. The so but, well that's what I'm getting at. Is, is, so if it's primarily ECAD if it's primarily you're you're doing the, the filming and the editing and the you know, and, and the local works committee signs off and says this is great and we want it to run that way, then that's great. Mm -hmm. I, I just need to sign off on it. Yeah, I think as long as she keeps it according to PBS rules and it's a PSA and she tells these people as they're making their little piece, 
and she, we, she can say no you can't do that yeah. so the portion of happy marriage may be to I think is the question is that this is something that Channel 5 would want to be doing anyway right um, but Local Works might be the venue that funnels people to Channel 5. <laughs> so we're both being credited for a collaborative yeah. effort. Hence the service Good. aspect of it. Yeah. The service aspect okay. of it. No, no, that, that works. I mean, that, okay. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out roles here so that way nothing's yeah, yeah. No. dropped yep. and there's no stepping on toes. Well, great. Um, this has been a very good meeting. Yeah. And I think for the first time we've got all the way through it. See, the no, taskmaster is not a bad thing. Tip almost in the limits, too. Almost. Um, <laughs> so so our next meeting would be January 20th, which would be the second and fourth Tuesdays of the month. Um, Mark, you are welcome to come back. We'd love to have you back. The way we do it is after um, someone attends a certain, shows a certain enough interest, we can vote you in if you want to be part of it. 22nd. Uh, so come on, you second. Is, it, is there a uh, email list? Yeah, I'll, I'll add you to it. Yeah, why don't you give me your email? Okay, it's uh, Mark. You should write it on right oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay, so this is 22nd is the next meeting? Is mm -hmm. the next meeting? 22nd, sorry. Mark, what's your last name? Uh, Chabon. C-H-A-B-A-N. Yeah, so I'll add you to the distribution oh, list, Mark. And um, oh, it's awesome. yeah, it's new. cool. Does anyone else have anything else? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Oh, just we'll be having our annual meeting coming up in a couple months. So, the calendars. Oh, more, more information to come. Okay. <laughs> My goal is to have an annual meeting where more than six people come. <laughs> Mike, it would be nice to see other members of the DIC committee as well if yeah. they wanted to come. For yeah. Thank meeting. you for coming. Not a problem. Yeah, that's Any and all are welcome. It's not around, but Mike. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye, aye, aye. This meeting's adjourned. Does Sue usually come to these? Yeah, she usually does. She, she uh, had some squizzling at the